Casey, it is so good to see you and I cannot believe it's been a year and a half since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. So what kind of toll have you seen that this has taken on students? Oh, well, thanks. It's it's nice to be uh, back talking about this. Uh, back to school is always an uh, exciting time of year. Um, it, it's a little bit different this year, though. Uh, obviously, last year was very different for students, either not being in school or not being in school full time and having a hybrid schedule. The studies are just starting to generate data that's usable information for us on those effects of COVID-19. Early data is showing that the pandemic is affecting children and teenagers more than adults. Uh, the Kaiser Family Fund recently put out a study um, and it stated that more than 25% of high school students and 20% of kids were experiencing worsening emotional and mental health since the start of the pandemic. Mm, okay, that's really concerning. And like you had already kind of hinted, it's back to school time. Parents typically helping their kids with that back to school anxiety, but how can they help them with the typical back to school anxiety in addition to this pandemic anxiety that you're mentioning? Um, we have to provide our youth structure open dialogue and support if needs emerge. Everyone has been impacted by the pandemic and just because it's getting back to normal-ish uh, doesn't mean that everything goes back to the way it used to be. We have to be flexible and ready to pivot, especially for our youth. There's kind of a new normal, if you will, right? Which we are all still adjusting to. Give some tips to parents though. What can they really focus on to help their kids navigate? Well, I've got uh, five tips to share. Um, the first being uh, share information. Talk to your child, be emotionally supported, and understand worries may extend beyond the normal back to school anxiety. Um, the CDC is a great resource for reliable information, and it's important to provide your children with support sooner rather than later. Be proactive. Uh, the second tip, help them feel secure. Um, assure your kids about their safety and validate their feelings by emphasizing that it's okay to feel upset or scared. Um, you may also share how you are managing your own feelings. Um, make your child know um, that it's okay to ask questions and it's okay to not have all the answers. Uh, the third tip is listening and watching. Uh, pay attention to more than just your kid's words. It's critical that parents are aware of their child's moods and uncharacteristic changes in behavior. Sometimes that can be an early warning sign and it might be a good idea to talk to a mental health professional. Uh, tip number four is create some regular routines. Consider limiting exposure to social media, setting up some regular routines around the house, um, and that will help your child manage, manage their emotional well-being as well as mitigate that surprise factor. Um, you know, some great opportunities that may be available are after school sports, hobbies, uh, and, and even accessing some of your local community resources. The last okay. tip is watch for signs of depression. Uh, increased stress from the pandemic may lead to depression. Some common signs of depression in children, uh, maybe some ones you expect to see, things like sadness, hopelessness, low energy or fatigue, uh, also extremely showing signs of self-injury or self-destructive behavior. But a few symptoms of depression that may not always uh, you expect to see in youth is irritability and having a hard time paying attention. If you're seeing any of those signs, um, it might be a good idea to reach out for some help. Okay, and if parents are noticing signs of depression in their child and they're executing those tips that you just gave, and it's just not working, what else can they do? Well, there are resources out there and the key is to take action and to take action immediately. Uh, make sure you discuss your concerns with your doctor or if you have a mental health professional already working with you as soon as possible. They may recommend a plan of action or treatment that can help you and your youth get back on track. Um, it can definitely be scary in the moment uh, to go through it, but early action is key. Uh, youth are very resilient and responsive to treatment. And I'd also recommend folks check out liveandworkwell.com. There's some great resources and articles on there, um, as well as referral information if you're looking for assistance. Casey, thank you so much for your guidance. And where else can parents go for more information? Uh, OptumIdaho.com is also another great resource that we offer here uh, for folks with resources.